So I think I found a huge problem with the Huawei Honor 10. Let's talk about it. I must apologize for anybody who is here expecting to see something which is winter related. Winter is coming, just not right at the moment. We are talking about a problem that I found, namely a Huawei Honor 10. I should make it clear that I repair iPhones mainly because they are plentiful and very easy to repair. However, every now and then I have some people who ask me to repair Android related phones. If I know beforehand what they are, as in high-end Samsungs or the like, uh, I will say no, because they require a lot of heat, uh, a lot of tools, and also if they've actually broken the screen, a high price, which usually puts people off. However, recently a friend of mine who I had fixed an iPhone for, an iPhone 4 before, uh, asked me whether I would repair a, an Honor 10, which is made by Huawei. And I decided to, I would take him up on the offer. How wrong I was. So, I went, uh, went online and contacted my local supplier. When it arrived, I went and started dismantling the, the uh, broken phone. And was just about to install the new screen when I noticed something very strange. Unlike the old screen that I'd just taken out, the new one didn't have a fingerprint sensor on it. And I thought this is very strange. So I then went and looked for um, another part, this time on eBay. Now, my general rule when I buy on eBay is I buy from the country that I'm in, that being France. Um, that way, delivery times are quick and, and I'll, let, I'll let somebody else deal with importing all this stuff from China. So I find a, I find a, a description for another screen. I look at the uh, picture that they used, and lo and behold, they have the uh, fingerprint uh, cable thing on the bottom of the screen. I'm thinking, great. I order the part, part arrives, no fingerprint sensor. So I go and look online again, and this is strange. If I had ordered an Honor 9 or an Honor 10 View, I would be able to remove the fingerprint sensor from the broken screen and put it in the new one. Instead, I go and look at this and the, the fingerprint sensor is really heavily bonded onto the glass. And when you put your finger over the glass like that, you feel that there is no, there's, there's no removable parts, there's no gaps, there's, no, there's nothing at all. But apart from that, that's not coming out. And on the back there, that's not coming out either. So Mr. Huawei has developed a phone with the fingerprint sensor unremovable from the old screen. Unless, you're, unless you want to go to China to buy your parts, and obviously a lot of these people who supply them in, in France do go there, and they have the option of buying these screens with a fingerprint sensor or without. And I kid you not, and this might change over time, I know the, 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 the 10 is very new. Every single screen I found online, not in China, but in this country, is without a fingerprint sensor. I know, that's absolutely crazy. I think Mr. Uh, Mr. Huawei has really messed up when it comes to the Honor 10. Uh, he's created a, uh, a phone, and I don't know why the Honor 9 and the Honor 10 view are different, but for instance, for, 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 for this, the Honor 10, basically there is a non-removable fingerprint sensor. I've used heat, I've used, I've used the, the suitable amount of force to try and remove it, but rather like anything, fingerprint sensors generally come attached to the glass. Okay, whether you have an iPhone or something, you can't just like peel, separate the two from the glass and stick them back together again. It doesn't work that way. So anyone out there who, th who, 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 who's bought a, an Honor 10, be very careful when you break it. Because I have a feeling that when you take these to your local shop to get fixed, they will fix them, but they won't put, well, they won't put a screen in with a fingerprint sensor. Seriously, I have wasted over a week trying to sort this problem out. I've now had to order the part from China, 
which even using DHL, it's going to take a week for it to get here. You know, I'm not trying to be a like a, a, a pro one one mark of phone or the other. I'm just saying that this particular one, this is a pop. Well, that's the broken one. That selling a phone, uh, selling a replacement screen without a fingerprint sensor is just absolutely crazy. Anyway, so there you go, that's over. Uh, of course, if you found this video interesting and useful, um, give me a like down below. Uh, I do do tech videos every now and then. Drop me a sub. Or if you completely disagree with me, comments down below. And on that, ciao.